Please welcome back Dustin Guy Defay. So, do you want to bring up some people? Yeah, uh, if, just uh, if you're in the cast, you can, will you come up, please? I, I mean, it's going to be hard to link. We'll identify them as they get on stage. <laughs> Uh, Buddy Duress, Tavi Gevinson, Marsha Stephanie Blake, Oak Ona Dewan, Ona Dewan, Ona Dewan, no, right. Eleanor Hendricks, Ben Rosenfeld, <laughs> Steve Urbanski. <laughs> Betty Cooper Smith. Uh, and Ashley Connor, who shot the movie, you should come up also. Michael, who was going to be here, Michael, Sarah, who was going to be here, is sick. Uh, but you know, that happens. All right. We have everybody? Ashley's coming up. Okay. Ashley. Okay. <laughs> We have microphones to share. Uh, uh, I'll just start with a question for Dustin, and then we'll get everybody else involved. Um, this is your, your first feature in some time, uh, and you'd made, since your last feature, Bad Fever, you've made a, a lot of shorts. Um, I was just curious to hear you talk about moving from shorts back to like just this larger canvas of a feature, and, and you know at the start, what you were trying to do uh, with that. Did that feel liberating, or you know? Um, I mean, the shorts are all. The shorts have almost entirely been necessity. All I've wanted to do is make features. Um, but uh, I, I mean, one thing I was trying to get made never happened, and um, so uh, the shorts have been, you know, ways to keep working and to and to figure out how to work and even how to direct or or, or, or do things like that. So. Um, uh, I, I just all I've wanted to do is you know keep making features. So it's yeah it's been a while, um, and hopefully it won't be. Um, I hopefully I can get right into another one you know sooner than the last one. Um, yeah. But, so. But did you learn something about working in the short form? Because it's striking that this is a, a feature that is composed of uh, many short narratives. Yeah, I mean I lo you know yeah I mean it's it is in many ways still sort of a collection of short films but sort of scrambled together and so I mean and but New York being the the thing tying things together and then one day being the thing tying things together but um, um, yeah well I, I think I think coming from doing uh, all, the shorts for the most part have a lot of different tones and different things and, and they're and they're some of them are a little bit similar and some of them are pretty far apart uh, from style and 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 uh, and content so. Uh, I, I think what started happening that was very interested in making a feature that that still encompassed uh, all those different kinds of things, and somehow still be consistent and and, and be within one movie. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the f the feature shares the title of a short that we showed here in New Directors three years ago, um, Person to Person. I know that was not always the title of the feature, but did you at the start or did you at some point realize that this was related to that? Obviously, Benny. Cooper Smith was the star of his Prisoner, Prisoner Short and um, playing, I would say, a, a similar character. Yeah, I mean, in the, you know, before, yeah, I mean, I never thought about this being an extension of the short. I mean, uh, just Benny having, Benny and, and then I wanted to keep with Benny uh, being a record collector because that's really what he is and I wanted to keep with that. Um, so I knew those things were uh, obviously going to be, you know, the same as the short, um, but, uh, yeah, but then I ended up naming it the same name uh, near the end of editing because I just liked the name more and I was sick of the other name. And um, this name seemed to be the best title for this movie, so I decided to just uh, go with that. But other, yeah, otherwise, other, other than that, I, uh, there are, I, uh, the connections are sort of start going away, I guess. Um, I'd love to get, well, maybe you can talk about the actors and then we can get the actors talking. Uh, I'd love to hear you talk about how you put this cast together. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a pretty impressive ensemble. I think it's a pretty impressive feat of uh, I think writing uh, and uh, acting and casting. I mean, I think you, don't, you there's a lot of characters in this film, but they're uh, I think incredibly vividly and specifically drawn. Um, and 
you've managed to get a lot of different types of New Yorkers into this film, which I think is one of the great things about it. So talk about, talk about all of them, if you. Um, I mean, Benny was the first person, obviously, uh, already in. I, I, don't, I don't know if I had to talk him into it or not. I can't, I can't. I don't think you were, I think you were down. You were ready. Um, and it says Benny in the script, so you're, you have to do it. Um, uh, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, no, it became, it, became, it became a great, it became a great, it became a great, you know, it became such a great adventure to have, I mean, there's so many different kinds of people and such a big cast that it became very exciting to figure out how we were going to, you know, pull it off. Um, um, but some of it was through, some of it was through agencies um, and, um, and then Eleanor did a lot of the casting and then A.V. Coffin did some more casting. Um, and, and a lot of them were my ideas and then a lot of were other, you know, Eleanor's ideas. Um, and, um, and so we just started pulling people together that way. A lot of them were just friends. I mean, Buddy, I mean, I, I hadn't met Buddy before, but I, you know, he's in heaven knows what. And I was, so I, I was piecing things, and I, I'm friends with Benny Safdie who made that movie, so like I was piecing things together from people I knew in New York. Um, but uh, Tavi, I never, yeah, I mean, I, we never, I, I, I was thinking of you when I was writing the movie, which is weird, I never told you that, I don't think, right? And then somehow, you know, but that's like, how, how does that happen? I mean, you know, you don't think that's really going to happen, that the person's going to end up in the movie or anything like that. But, you know, uh, that, that worked out somehow. So you, that, you, yeah. had, you had Benny in mind and you had Tavi in mind for those roles. Yeah, I mean, Ta yeah, I mean well, Benny for sure, but Tavi, you know, was like an idea, but it wasn't like uh, she's going to be in the movie or anything like that. It wasn't like, uh, it just, it was like, a, oh, that'd be really amazing if that was the person who ended up in the movie. You know, because, you know, I admire her. I mean, you know, so... Um, Right? I don't know. I should be, right? I don't know. Uh, um, but then, you know, and then it's, but then, you know, so a lot of people I knew, and then other people I had never, heard, I didn't know of Marsha, I didn't know of Oak at all, and like, uh, and so, like, you know, and Steve is Benny's friend, and Steve's in the short film also, so, yeah, it just all, I mean, it just got really exciting when everybody started, but you know, then it's like a crazy production where you're only seeing people for, uh, like, one day or something like that. Um, um, did you give the actors the entire script, or just their sections? And That's funny. I don't even. I don't even know the. I don't actually know the answer. To but that. maybe the actors can start talking. That we can. Uh, let's ask them. Did, uh, maybe read the whole script. No, I, I read. Uh, oh, you said your oh, yeah. I didn't read the whole script. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I uh, was on kind of a vacation, you could say, so. I got there at the last minute and I had to like really cram for the, you know, for the shoot, like cramming for a test, kind of. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I got the whole one, but uh, I haven't met like some people up here until tonight. Or, um, or like we haven't even met yet because I was late. So I, yeah. <laughs> but it, it so it's cool seeing everyone else's uh, scenes be like pieced together. Um, is this one? I did get the whole script, but funny enough, I just met Oak the other day at a restaurant, <laughs> and I was like, hey, I think I play your sister in a film. <laughs> I had never seen the film, and he was like, what, what film? And the name had changed, so when I said the name, he was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and I was like, I think, I think we play brother and sister. So it was really cool to see it all come together here. <laughs> and now he knows who I am. That's a true story. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I, got, I got the script, and, and, and I, I, uh, I, I got to read the, the whole thing beforehand. And it was really cool to see all the pieces come together because you know shooting you just shoot your own piece so I never you know we never really interact with each other we just interact with, with our storyline um, so it was cool to see how it all weaves together I read the script I read the script I helped with casting and um, but yeah it really came to get you know it's it's kind of hard to always imagine how something will come to fruition and how all the characters will bring something to life but um, you kind of have an idea, and I saw an early cut of it, and it came together very beautifully, Dustin, so nice work, all the actors. Great. Yeah, I read it. <laughs> <laughs> all the scripts. 
script. No, I never. Uh, I didn't read the whole script. No, no I. Uh, I only had a, a few lines to uh, memorize, and um, so I did. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, I read the uh, same thing. For me, I read the I read the whole script real, real quick, and then I think the practice was me and you on the phone. We did on the telephone one time. <laughs> Are some of you seeing the film for the first time tonight? Do you have any questions for Dustin? Um, <laughs> how come? Yeah. Uh, it's very straight, straightforward. It's great. Great. Um, I, I have I have a couple more for you. Um, if the can you talk a little bit about this? Uh, sorry, the mics. Um, writing and editing uh, and working with multiple uh, narratives. Um, and you know, I think you. The, the term that people use is like network narratives and, and you expect these kinds of films to have, uh, when there are multiple storylines that they will kind of converge in some way or intersect or have like sort of parallels among them and uh, I'm wondering, it's interesting like how that this happens in some cases and doesn't happen in some cases in, in your film and I'm, I'm wondering if you can talk a bit about that. Um, I mean, the script, yeah, I mean, we did, you know, for the shooting, we did, you know, this, it's all very scripted, um, and it had to be that way, I think, for the, what I wanted to make. Um, and then the editing, I did end up moving things around. You can only move it around so much, but I did move things around. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was very interesting. You know, yeah, there's usually, I mean, you're always expecting an ensemble movie for things to connect um, by some means. Um, so I, I was very interested in figuring out if I, if I could just sort of thematically make things connect, but also to, if it was possible, that if you're watching, you're, you forget that things, that you, you forget that you would expect things to connect. And so I was hoping that I could pull that off, where you just, you're just sort of, sometimes you don't know what's going, you don't know who's next or what's going, and it just pops up and it's happening, it's unraveling, and you, you just stop thinking that things are going to connect. I was hoping that was going to, I don't know if it really worked, but I think it does. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I thought that would be very interesting if I could make it all not connect and still have a cohesive film. So cohesive tonally more than narratively? You mean? Yeah, although I was trying to push it all those tones too. I mean, I was trying to have different tones also, but yes, for, yeah, to have, yeah. But well, yeah, to have different tones, but still have one consistent tone. Yeah, that was Is what we see on the screen very close to uh, the script? I mean, it's, it's very, uh, it has a very unusual, uh, it, it, it's a very plot-heavy film in a way, but it's also a film that's very uh, laid back and low-key. Yeah. So I'm just wondering yeah, about you know, very, finding that. that I got very interested in. Um, I, yeah, I got very interested in. Uh, yeah, I'm very interested in sort of laid-back plots. I, I like that idea where, I, where and it, the movie is very. It is full of plot, and yet it doesn't seem like there is a. I, I try to hide the plot as much as possible and information as much as possible. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, we'll open it up. We have uh, we take questions for Dustin or the actors or um, Ashley Connor, the DP. Uh, music and Charlie Parker and how central. I mean, Char the Charlie Parker Bird Blows Blues was in the script. I mean, it's not. So it's, it's another. Th it's a thing where you don't. You're. You don't know. I just put. It, I put it in there because I really liked it, and it's a rare record. And uh, I was listening to it when I was writing, and but you know you don't think it's you know just I, it's in there, and maybe I'm going to change it. But I, and I was very excited, Benny's for Benny to say "Bird Blows the Blues" in a movie, and like it's it, "Bird Blows the Blues" has got the right just the right words are perfect for this movie. Um, but then so we ended up getting it, and then I knew I was going to you know the bike chase was going to have that on there also. So it, I, I was exciting, and all the other stuff is, uh, you know, it's really hard to get this much music without a budget uh, into. Uh, this into a movie and so yeah a lot of it comes from this place called Numero Group I, I you know so I I would you know but I would find stuff and then stuff I would love and then I'd have to get rid of it because we couldn't afford it but it, yeah it, it was a long process to get all the music in there film stock question for Ashley film stock question um, we shot it all on mainly 250d and a little bit on 500t it's obviously super 16 um, and what was the question about shooting I mean, when Dustin and I kind of talked about it, it was a lot about ways of creating intimate frames to, frames the, to frame the characters, like, kind of in an unintrusive way. And it wasn't about being, like, glossy or 
the camera movements being like loud and interrupting the action. It was really just like about the people that you're seeing and telling the story in like the most intimate, tender way that we could. Yeah. No more questions? How much room did you leave uh, for improv? Like moments where the, the guys were playing basketball and he shoots it and then he's like, oh, it's time to shoot. And it's like, Amazing. Like, you you <laughs> that out? <laughs> Uh, there's, I don't think there's any improv. There's nothing, there's nothing no, I mean, I, we didn't tell the ball to hit that branch or anything like that, but <laughs> that, was all, that was all supposed to happen. Well, no, that was, that was it. Yeah, that was the last, t I was like, oh, because we were trying to shoot that. I think we we're shooting on film, and I don't have much to, you know, so I gave him like three tries to make that shot, or four tries. This was like yeah, a third. Yeah, I failed on He every failed, and try. like, this is it. This is the end. You, you have to make the shot, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fake it. I'll just go to the, I'm not going to have a wide do that. And, but he, then that happened with the branch and all that stuff. So that was it. Yeah, that's sort of improv, I guess. You can call that improv. But no, everything's scripted. And I think everything is scripted. I mean, I don't know if there's any lines in there that, uh, that are not scripted. The question is about how you selected the locations. Yeah, I mean, I know New York well. And, and um, sometimes you're writing and you're thinking about a certain spot. But when you have a certain you know, production, it starts to become like you just end up getting what you can get, sort of. So, um, yeah, a lot of it was really, with because we had so many locations, we really were, uh, we had to uh, we had to stick to a lot of stuff. But like, yeah, like the bike chase was something I, 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 know, I know the Polanski Bridge and all that stuff, so I knew uh, that, was a, that would be a great spot. I mean, there were spots that definitely I picked and like, okay, I can do this here and here. And the scouts, we found places. But, but other times, you're just like, okay, w w where's the nearest apartment to this apartment that we can, because we have to, we have a, you know, a move that day or something like that. So, um, um, but I want to showcase a little bit, you know, I want to showcase the city a little bit, but not, I d also didn't want to, I didn't want the city to over, you know, to, I wanted the characters to be the main focus. How long did it take to make it? It was, the shooting was, the shooting was 20 days, 21 days or so, I think. 20, tw and the writing was, um, I think, three or four months. I mean, I didn't sh you know, we, then, then a year and three months later we shot it or something like that. Influences? Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I have a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I have, I have a lot. I have lots. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, um, I always say with this movie, The Peanuts, so I can, I can say that again. Peanut, Charlie Brown. <laughs> but I keep saying that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I keep saying that. But yeah, that, that's definitely it. Charlie Brown. <laughs> but, I, I, but then, you know, I'm influenced by, uh, I mean, there's, yeah, film-wise, I can't think, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I am influenced. I mean, I am influenced. But in this particular movie, I'm not, I, I didn't think about any other filmmakers or anything like that. Um, yeah. Oh, they're fit. Both of them already. Did Benny and Buddy get fit for the bike chasing? The, the mo this is the most important question. Here we go. Here For we the go. bike chase scene, um, what, what do you mean, like, get fit for it? <laughs> <laughs> to ride Did a bike? I mean, <laughs> once you ride a bike, it's like you never forget, you know? <laughs> they were, they did do, you did, uh, although I, they only did like you guys. We were did riding pretty push. fast. I mean, at one point, <laughs> I was driving the car. Someone was driving the car, and I know they were. Man, I was really tired. <laughs> like, at one point, how fast were you going? Like 25 miles per hour? Yeah, maybe. And I was trying to keep up with you, and you're like, "Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going." It was a, such a long avenue, and. <laughs> I was like, man, like, when is this avenue going to end? And we did that shot like four times. <laughs> yeah, I, I got really tired. I'll tell you that. Uh, I don't know. What about you, Benny? Uh, I was good. You were good? I got to stop smoking. That's the thing. They, they, you guys, I'm, I have a video of you guys doing, you guys are doing push-ups and things like that. Oh, yeah, 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 that's like, we had, I did a little method, I, had, I did some push-ups <laughs> at the end, like when I hit the dead end by the, by the fence, when he punches me, I'm supposed to be out of breath, so it's kind of hard for me to like fake being out of breath, 
So I did like 50 push-ups real quick so I'd be out of breath for the shot, you know? <laughs> and you had me punch you. Even though he said don't punch you. Yeah, you did. I said punch me, I don't care. I just, you know, tighten my stomach up. I can take a punch, you know? <laughs> I mean, I box. I should be able to take a punch, right? Absolutely. It was all good, though. <laughs> Even though Benny punched me like 20-something times. <laughs> it was a lot of takes. No hard feelings, Benny. <laughs> we have time for one more question. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know if people heard, question is uh, about uh, more like production design uh, in terms of uh, s setting the film, locating it like uh, in terms of its period setting. Yeah, I, I, well I think, I think uh, a lot of it just, uh, it, I mean I've never thought about it being anything other than right now. Uh, uh, I, I, I know the 16 adds something to that and then like uh, there is like the vinyl records and things like, there's some analog things happening in the movie, but I never thought about it being uh, anything other than modern. Um, modern day. So yeah, I, I, I know, uh, yeah, maybe it's the, my style or something like that makes it feel old fashioned or something like that. But um, I'm not opposed to any of the, any of the I mean, they have their cell phones and things like that. But I, yeah, I, I know, but I, I didn't think about it like in that way. And I, I really have no nostalgia for, for, for things. I think that's a great note to end on. Uh, thank you. Thanks, thank Justin. you.